Okay, guys, you're locked in with DJ Marks, and we've just come off a Kirk Edwards track, Favor, absolutely banging track. Make sure you go and check him out on social media, uh, download his music, and yeah, just show your support, man. Give that support for the UK artists, especially. Um, he's doing some great stuff out there. Now, as I say at the top of the show, we've got the man himself in the building. Still shady, he's here to talk about his music and more. Still, how you doing, bro? I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling good. Uh, yeah, man, good to see you. It's been a while, man. I feel like, yeah, we've been uh, trying to get make it happen to chop it up. So good that we're yeah. finally here. It's, yeah, for real, man. It, like I said, it's, it's been a while. We, we were chatting before the show started and, you know, we, we put it down to uh, last year, New Year's. So a good year since we last saw each other. But, you know, yeah, definitely it's good to have you on the show, get you in here and, like, we can chop it up regarding your music and stuff. So, um, yeah, just for the sake of those that necessarily don't know you, um, tell us about who Still Shady is and how the name came about. Uh, who Still Shady is, uh, I literally answer that each time differently. But yeah, I'm a rapper, I'm a musician, I'm a creative entrepreneur. Um, yeah, and the mission brand is wherever there's shade, there's light. So like, but basically going into the dark spaces and just lighting it up, you know. Um, I would, I've been in that, that space for a majority of my life, came to know a greater truth, and I'm just like uplifting everywhere I go, um, predominantly through music. So um, yeah, man, that's the boy. Um, yeah, that's the boy, for real. <laughs> you know what, that, it, it's good to kind of to hear that, actually, because one of the questions I was going to ask you, and actually wasn't going to ask it till later, but I've seen since you raised mm. it, so you said you that you're a rapper and stuff like that, but you know what, I'll be honest, for me, I kind of sh struggled for a bit to decide what category to put you in, because I know you did a lot of the hip-hop stuff, and then you've got some tracks where it's not exactly hip-hop, it's maybe more towards the Afro beats, R&B kind of side, and it's like, I feel like you've got a you're able to kind of like dice it up into different genres, man. So it's kind of interesting to hear you say you put yourself in more in the hip hop side of things. Um, I wouldn't even really, yeah, well, I guess hip hop rap is the popular genre on the, you know, when we're, we're sending off our music to distribution. But, um, you know, um, I don't think, Afrobeat's not even a genre in on the, yeah, but if you, I guess, Afrobeat put, put it through world, but um, which we have done before on a release like Focus. But, um, yeah, man, versatility has always been my heart. I'm a man that's influenced from many different directions. Um, so, yeah, man, I just embrace it, bro. Like, so many vibes, so many vibes, for real. No, it's good, man. And, and you know what? I find that not many artists have that side of them where they can literally pounce from one thing to the other. And, you know, as we was talking about when we last saw each other, New Year's, I remember you came on there and you did a hip-hop track and then suddenly you did a track where you kind of did, like, this praise segment. And I thought, wow, okay, I never saw that coming. Praise segment. Yeah, it's like you went into this thing and you had your singers singing, and it's like it was almost like a praise. Oh, I, what, I, thought, you, I thought you meant like Trey songs. I was like, no, Yo. no, 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 no. no. <laughs> I thought, I had the was like that. <laughs> no, no I, just like the way you kind of like directed the music and got the, your your guys to do that kind of like performance on stage. It's almost like you went into yeah, a, man, that's a, a praise uplifting. Man. That's just everyone that comes to everyone that comes to a still shady show like literally know that. Um, yeah, man, it's an it's a moment. It's a, it's an experience. So, um, yeah, man, dress rehearsals is a serious place. Um, I really want um, the music to enter another level of dynamic every time I'm on stage. Above all the other, all the, above all the operations of music, um, live performance is my heart. That's like the main element I enjoy. So. Um, yeah, that's probably where the theatricals came from. That you know, just... <laughs> so you know what we're gonna and um, drop it a little bit back into like you know the starting and things like that. And in terms of like, am I right in saying that in terms of your music releases, um, your Christian music releases, um, your debut track was it marching on? Uh, debut? Nah, my first release definitely wasn't. Oh, well, you said Christian in terms of yeah, yeah. Um, um, ah, I gotta look back at the discography. Maybe is that's a very early one. Yeah, well, it is. I, well, I guess what the question is. Obviously, I became a Christian in 2016 in December. Okay. So yeah, uh, so from that point, because I I tried to look back, and um, the first track or the first evidence of tracks I was able to find online or even like through Spotify, the earliest date was the the marching on, and like you said, it was about the 2016 2017 mark. 
So I thought, you know, let me check if that's the first track because that's probably one of your tracks that I haven't heard. But when I did like go back and check it, yeah, mm. it's a it's a banger, man. It's a banger still from early. <laughs> yeah, from <laughs> early, man. From early. But the joke, the joke is, you're saying from early, but like you said, you've been doing, you've been on this music thing for a while now. We're gonna get into that um, a bit later in the interview, but just for now. I want to play that marching on track for the guys so they can get a taste of it. I, oh. I had a taste of it already and I was like, you know what, yeah, this one needs to get put in there. So guys, this is still shady with marching on. Go check it out um, on his own platforms and stuff like that. You'll find it on Spotify, etc. Still shady marching on. Here we go. Soldier, keep on marching on. Head down to the work is done. Waiting. I need just one path. Soldier, keep on marching home. I feel like Jackson, sons of anarchy. I want trust in Clay. He knows my mum, but here it family. See, brotherhood can turn to tragedy. It's really deep. I know these roads are bittersweet, but I think it gave me a cavity. More than rum burns calories. But discipline will make a man of me. I feel like Samson. My mum says my hair don't make me handsome, but I'm blessed with this gift. It's the strength in the lips, so let me use it See that comes with responsibilities A lot of man around me abuse it You were born with this talent You think it's luck that you just do this It's called a gift cause it was given to you to use it But man don't need that worse They refuse it worse They destroy it like yo Are you stupid? You had a good thing running Or maybe you didn't But you had that good thing coming and Let me tell you something You know we want it by any means either Love or money will kill many dreams Like we don't even love trapping I've seen a man risk it all for that cat that's so cool Like you have talent in your feet like you were always meant to pull about Take risk and prosper But what risk was you taking in your time? What risk was you taking in your grind? What risk was you taking in your life? Apart from your freedom that you're always putting on the line hey, let, me, let me talk to you right now man See we were all meant to be kings and queens man But for some reason we keep compromising not reaching that maximum potential. You know patience is a virtue. Like real talk, a little patience wouldn't hurt you. But you want it now and see the media concerns you because they got it and you don't and that burns you. <laughs> but you were fearfully and wonderfully made. That like, do you know what that means? Something deeper than your wildest dreams. You were designed in the kind that no other can be. So be you because they can't be. But they build it up and smoke the pain away. Forgetting all the dreams that they just slip away Thinking that there's no more hope to get it straight And they keep telling you it's gonna be okay Like all you need to do is pray But that's easier said than done And that doubt in your heart already got you one Like you don't wanna try Well not really, you don't gotta lie Cause it's hard in the place we're from A lot don't get it right But you can What were them dreams as you had as a youth man Before you knew about trapping with the crew man Or selling sex for a check, who are you man? Like who are you man? So let's sit back, reflect and think back to the young days When no dream was too big that we wouldn't try I put my head up in the sky and pray to God He brings all my dreams to life I just keep on marching on keep on marching on I just keep on marching on Head down to the work is done Cause I swear the work not done Waiting on the morning sun I'm waiting for you Lord I'm waiting for you Soldier keep on so we just had Still Shady with Marching On. Um, you know what? As, we, as I was saying before, that's one of your earlier tracks. I would say one of the first tracks I found for you um, that you released as a Christian. But I want to go back even before that, before you're the Christian. And obviously I'm browsing through YouTube as I'm getting prepared for your um, interview today. And one of the things that I saw was that on your YouTube channel, obviously you've got some of your earlier videos before you became a Christian. Yeah. Now, the first thing I'm going to say is, bro, I salute you, man. Because most people like would have just taken them down. I'm a Christian now, I've taken everything down and stuff like that. Mm. And I'm looking for your description. You're saying, you know, for the purpose of testimony, mm. I'm going to leave those on there so people can see, you know, obviously the, the journey you've been through, you know, mm. where you come from and what you're trying to do in terms of the music. Mm. Um, so, you know, from my opinion, I think more artists need to do that. Literally let people st- be part of the journey and say, you know what? Yeah, you might see me on stage here with all the, you know, looking like I'm, I've got it all good now and blah, blah, blah. But there was a side of me before. And you can mm. check the journey and see that, you know, I maybe came from the same streets you did or I came from the same kind of things you did. 
yeah. I'm coming to where I'm now. So like, my opinion is that obviously a lot of artists need to do you know a lot more of that kind of thing. But what was, what was the decision behind saying, you know what, I'm going to leave these on there? And what were you hoping to achieve with it? Um. Well, yeah, I don't think I ever was going to take them off. I don't <laughs> think. Um, um, I, I know that I would have wrestled with, um, in terms of maybe some things being delivered um like in terms of content management but yeah i don't think it was a my my life is testimony even bro, like bro like from the cusp as well um like my life is just i didn't enter into no christian rap community when i got saved yeah. like that would i only started even to meet what we um that space would um called a Christian artist like 2018 I feel like I felt like I just felt like Paul all of a sudden when he said that <laughs> any of the other apostles <laughs> but um honestly yeah bro my agenda was just to be transparent that's what I grew up on I grew up I wrote in a line recently I grew up on Nas he taught me story sell they, he taught me story sell so why they sell out I'm just trying to keep it real like I just always just said my story so when I was doing madness on the road I said my story. When I started to love God, I said my story. I just said what I loved. And um, that always became a transparent. So, um, and a story we all know isn't written off one chapter. It's the yeah, process. Yeah. So I guess to like delete, I thank God I never listened to any advocates that would say such a thing. Because that's, it compromises what I'm really about yeah. actually trying to do here, mm. which is, to keep telling my story and you know um and shine through that you know so um yeah man i can't get rid of the old testament we need it yeah you know what i'm, I'm not even gonna lie man it's like i was listening to the stuff on youtube and the thing that really kind of came to me was how how much it helped to kind of like feel the story because i've seen you on stage you know performing and stuff like that i've, I've heard your music and i you know I've, I've, i can gather your um you know your, your heart for god where you are now but when I went back and I watched those videos and been able to see where you were and where you are now, do you know what I'm saying? Like I said, it, it automatically kind of adds a new dimension to the whole story. And you were doing bits back then. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like some of the stuff, even from back then, I was like, oh my, this guy was on fire from even before he became a Christian. He was doing some, some stuff. <laughs> um, but like I said, you know, you've come in and you've, you'd like, you've, Done, and it's, what I like as well, you've kind of seen that you've done your own style. You don't try to come in and like emulate what you've seen that's been on on the scene already. You've come in, you've done your own style. You bought your own bits, um, and it's not even just the music. I know you've you've got the whole KB thing going down. We'll we'll get into that a bit later on as well. But yeah, it was just great to see, man, that you you, you left the stuff on there and yeah, been to watch that testimony. But you know, going going back into last year. And obviously, we know that it was a tough year for a lot of people with the, the whole COVID stuff and whatnot. And um, artists in general, they did find it tough. But I saw you was able to still do some things yourself in terms of um, releasing music. Mm. Um, and I think you even released like a seven track EP last year, uh, which I yeah. like, go through and stuff like that. So how did you find um, the process of really like releasing that music last year? Did it feel any different be because of what was going on or were you still able to just do things as you normally do? Well, every, I think naturally, like, things happen and makes you feel different. You always are reacting to stuff, but nothing stopped me. Absolutely not. Like, nothing can stop me from, you know, doing my God-ordained purpose. Like, you feel me? So um, the, the EP you're talking about, Sabbath, that came out just before the lockdown, literally, like, two weeks before. I think we locked down on March the 22nd or 23rd. Uh, Sabbath came out um, um, at the beginning of March, I believe. Um, and that needed to come out for its own reasons because yeah, obviously yeah. that was like from a car crash and stuff. But um, yeah, man. Um, yeah, I'm a cre and I create I would say it helped me to create more and release more because I just knew this was our only bread and butter. You know, I'm a full time musician, so I had to even lean on royalties and lean on the idea of like releasing more music just to, you know, keep me keep me afloat so um so yeah man I, I would say it helped me release more if anything um in terms of how I survived you know there's nothing more dangerous like a, than a hungry man I always say that so when hunger started to arise you have to think of new avenues to yeah, try to yeah. 
So um, yeah, man, I remember, I think it was from very early that I knew that um, I have more time here and I have more of a reason to need to sit down and start looking into funding. So I told my manager and I was just like, yo, let's actually start cracking down on some of these applications. So we went hard, man, and we got some funding. Shout out Help Musicians, shout out Arts Council. These are incredible uh, music organizations that are supporting independent and emerging artists. And it's those type of entities that helped us through that process to be able to, you know, successfully attain funding and create some amazing work, which we did. Um, so, yeah, that was another thing. And guys, if you, if you haven't heard that EP that he, he dropped last year, definitely go on his channel then and like check that out because it's, it's got some bangers on there. I mean, all your, all your music are bangers. I mean, I listen to your tracks. I'm like, oh, my gosh, this guy has seriously got some talent, man. It's deep. But um, guys, yeah, definitely go, go check out that EP. Um, and you know we're going to give him another track just for now um, and come back to them so this next track here by Still Shady is called Heaven um, you know before, even before we, I said it I feel, I feel I need to like get a, a background story behind that because that one just kind of like blew up the spot man I mean all the DJs were, were playing it and stuff so tell us about this track Heaven and what you know what was the vision behind Heaven Heaven's a banger <laughs> Heaven's what we all needed to keep our mind on especially when we were going through crazy hell um, I really wanted to create a song for the summer to really just uplift the energy that was going on. Um, and when we created that in the studio, we just knew that was it. So, um, yeah, man, uh, we're still in the heaven campaign right now. We're about to celebrate the remix because we really feel we created a, a narrative about really looking up, looking up to, to something that is perfect and again and again and again we just keep seeing more news that is trying to challenge that yeah, yeah. um yeah man that's what the purpose of the song is to keep our mind on one concept one truth one word one life heaven so that's the story well guys you you heard it from here so still shady heaven let's get it I don't even think so, man. You won't even think man's gonna be all in white and like one man little nerd. I'm gonna speak about heaven. If you're breathing, you have destiny. This is God's plan, what will be will be. A wise man said the best things in life are free. So tell them that this round's on me, that they can keep the money, yeah. Just tell me if you love me, yeah Cause when I die he's gonna judge me mm. But by the blood you know he washed me, yeah I can't wait to go to heaven, uh -uh. yeah, yeah Ask me what's the hope in this world, I say it's heaven, uh -uh. yeah, yeah And on my worst days, I just keep my mind on heaven, uh -uh. yeah Our Father, who are in, in heaven, uh -uh. yeah I know it's heaven, uh -uh. yeah, yeah Counting on my blessing cause I've seen some else Promises of heaven, but I've been through hell, yeah. Before I would've fell, yeah. I told him with the father, you'll prevail, yeah, yeah. Uh, tell me what's the deal. See, I do this for my mama and my girl, yeah, yeah. In heaven, there's a party. I see a couple of my sisters and my doggies, yeah. Cause if you're breathing, you have destiny. This is God's plan, what will be, will be. A wise man said the best things in life are free. So tell him that this round's on me. Cause they can keep the money, yeah. Just tell me if you love me, yeah. Cause when I die, he's gonna judge me, yeah. But by the blood, you know you wash me, yeah. I can't wait to go to heaven, yeah, yeah. Ask me what's the hope in this world, I say it's heaven, yeah, yeah. And on my worst days, I just keep my mind on heaven, yeah. I fall for who are in, in heaven, yeah. I know it's heaven, yeah, yeah. Summertime, we were moving crazy I was trying to get it off the pavement mm. I thought I knew it all when I was 18 I didn't even know what I was chasing Yeah, like I saw some cold nights It didn't face me Will I make it out? I was a maybe I just wanna find a place I can call safety I run to you Ask the father to come take me I can't wait to go heaven But it's optional See, it's how you live on earth It be costing you All them diamonds temporary That ain't profitable So I look up to the father Tell me what to do See, I need to get help But not the hospital Someone fix my broken heart that's the gospel I couldn't do it on my own It made it possible Only then will I stop up in these gates When I die singing like Did you breathe and you have destiny 
This is God's plan, what will be, will be A wise man said the best things in life are free So tell them that this round's on me That they can keep the money, yeah Just tell me if you love me, yeah But when I die, he's gonna judge me, yeah But by the blood, you know he washed me, yeah I can't wait to go ever What's the hope in this world? I say it's heaven. Yeah, yeah. I know my worst days. I just keep my mind on heaven. Yeah. I fall for who I am. Yeah, heaven. Yeah. I know it's heaven. Yeah, yeah. I know it's heaven. Yeah, yeah. Ask me what's the hope in this world? I say it's heaven. Yeah, yeah. I know my worst days. I just keep my mind on heaven. Yeah. I fall for who I am. All right, so still, it's time for me to have a, have a little game with you now. Every artist that comes on to have an interview with me, we play a little game and it always varies. So it's never the same game. So I don't want artists to like get prepared for whatever I might tell them to do. <laughs> so for you, the game that I've prepared is one that I'm going to call, when did I drop it? So I'm literally going to tell you um, the title of a video you've got on YouTube and you've got to try and tell me the month and year that you dropped that video. The year, yeah. The month and the year oh, yeah. that you dropped that video. Man's drawing me up. <laughs> yeah, you ready to try this year? <laughs> uh, no, 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 try to look on your phone or nothing like that. Yeah, so <laughs> holy man. All right, let's go. So, the first one, um, uh, modern day Psalms. When did you drop it? Which one? The first one, the first one. When did that drop on YouTube? Um, that was definitely 2018. Um, and that was late that month, yeah. I feel like we dropped the two that year. So it was definitely like a, a June, July, maybe yeah, maybe like a I'm gonna say I'm gonna say June. I'm gonna say June. You know what? You, 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 you was close. You you're close. It was May, 9th of May 2018. You got the yeah. year right, definitely. But you're close yeah, to the with the month, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, next one, victory. That's why I claim that. <laughs> victory. Yeah. Victory um, in terms of the release. I um, The video, though. Vic I want the video. When you dropped the video? Video was 2018. Um, we dropped that. Um, oh, August. Yeah, August. Or August September. 2018. Yeah, August 2018. Bruh. There you go. Come. You got it. <laughs> all right next one for you i'm back i'm back yeah yeah right well, uh, that's okay again, <laughs> that's 2018 that was uh what's the month Jul that was july you're rolling both accounts it's wrong it's 20 yeah. july 2018 no i'm back the video oh, I'm back. oh yeah. what's I'm back? the freestyle yeah the freestyle Oh no, that's mad. No, that's mad. I didn't even I wasn't even thinking about that. That that freestyle is different. That freestyle is every that's even that's 2018 as well. That's nice. Nah, it's, it's not 2018, bro. Mad. What it's 2017? 2017, yeah. Mad thing. I don't know. Have that one. That's late yeah. 2017, then maybe oh, yeah. October 2017. That one was. Yeah, I don't guess that. Big up though. <laughs> All right, this oh, one should be an easy one, yeah. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me, was March, um, March, um, 2020. Nearly. You got the 2020? Uh, it was a April, 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 yeah. April, the, yeah. The song came out. The, the song came out in March. The mm. visuals came out a bit later. So hands up there. All right. Listen, last one for you. Um, Focus featuring okay. Oscar audio video. Uh, audio video um focus came out in may it came out at the same time so yeah it was may it was may 2020 nearly again june 2020 
<laughs> you're getting closer though. You're, 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 you're actually really like, right there. Releases, but that radio upload was him. Martin. Yeah, Martin. Junior. Martin. Junior. Martin. Yeah. But you know what? Martin. That particular tune, again, that was one of your tunes because that I, I heard for the first time. And that mm. is a, that is another big tune right there. Another big tune. Love. So tell me about that tune, particularly yeah. there. We, you had know, a, we had a sick idea to do that a video for that, but because of COVID and of the, the lockdown, we couldn't make it happen. So we made an animation instead. But yeah, Folk is a big tune. Shout out R. Scar. Um, yeah, he owed me one. That was what it is. <laughs> like, that's, I literally called him. He owed me one. I, um, you know, if you haven't checked out Euphoria on his EP, which came out, I believe, the year before, um, yeah, I, I, I dropped the verse on it. And I love Scar, man. I brought him out for my headline show as well. Like, that was just one of them ones I believe in. Always just trying to drop gems on just the younger lot. And, um, yeah, hail him up. So, yeah, I needed that kind of vocal. I wanted another victory. Yeah, you Everyone, know what? That, that would have been a banger, man. If you if you dropped the music video for that, that... That would have been good because that, no, that track is straight fire, man. I'm changing the rules this year, though, Mark. So, anyways, as soon as we're out to play and we're allowed to do shoots again, like I'm gonna, I'm bringing back some bangers. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to shoot videos for everything, everything. So I'm and you, you know what? Talking about bangers, let's let's go back a bit more to um, your album, Croyd and Baby. Mm. Now, bangers. Yeah, what, what can I say? You said it. I mean, it's it's an album, and you know, I've said this on the show before. I, back in the day, I used to listen to albums, and I mean, I came from the hip hop um, side of things as well. So, and even before I became a Christian, so I was listening to your your Nas, your 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 you know your Two Fact, your Biggie, you know your MOP, and all these these guys, yeah. And I used to listen, be able to listen to the whole album without skipping. Do you know what I'm saying? And I'll say it on the show a number of times that I found there was few albums coming out where I could play the whole album and not get to a track and be like, yeah, I'll skip mm. that one. But Quiet and Baby, mm. I never had that problem. It's like, yeah. I went from one track to another track. And you know what really surprised me was I didn't have that problem and it was 17 tracks on yeah. the album. So that's oh. nuts. Come on, dude. So that's nuts. So Oscar, I want you to tell us about the vision oh, behind... Indeed. Yeah, I mean, I want you to tell me about the vision behind that album, but one thing I will say before you do that is 17 tracks on a hip hop album. I haven't seen that in years. I'm, 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 talking talking about, I'm talking about going back to the, some of those names where they were doing mixtapes back in the day and they just decided it's going to drop a whole lot. I haven't seen that from hip hop for a long time. So yeah, what was the vision behind that? Why 17 tracks for, for, for your album? Oh, we were trying to get 23, man. We were oh, trying wow. to get 23 tracks, bro. But council tried to, they won that one in that argument. <laughs> 23, it was, it was symbolic to my age. Um, it was my 23rd year of life at the time. Um, um, yeah, Crate and Baby was supposed to be a cluster of, of, of worlds from all chapters of my life, both from content matter to vibes and energies and sonics. Um, yeah, like in terms of message, there were more deeper songs. There was, I just wanted every part of me at that very point that I could pour out into the world to be shown on that track. And I wanted it each eight year to be representative of my life. So 23, but yeah, so we ended up, and that was an ongoing journey. I never knew that I was going to make my debut album at, in August, 2019. I just was, the plan was to make singles that year. But every time we make, and that's why there's kind of a whole, a, 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 a kind of a, there's, there's not like a crazy theme, like all songs are just hits, but it came together as a theme, but it never was supposed to be that. They were just very much all potential singles, which was a bit upsetting because we wanted to shoot more videos. Um, but yeah, man, we definitely made it to like, just send that, like, hit it out, drop it out, drop it out. So I was recording a lot that that season. And um, yeah, we just had like 30 plus songs and we um, we filed it down to the 17. And I just said, yeah. And the question was when we were filing it down is what what makes the Craven baby? Like what makes Still Shady? Like all right, that's that one's in defo, that, that's not in. And through that, I just felt like, yeah, I have a, I have a reflection. I, I still ha I have my personal criticisms now about um you know going forward hopefully we're, we're working on like a Craig and baby revamped i can say that i'm not keeping no music hostage this year um <laughs> maybe this year like but we definitely want to do a remaster on the project bring some songs out make it live again 
And uh, yeah, man. Yeah, as God permits. But yeah, creating baby to the world, man, for real. So in terms of that that whole album, do you have like a, a favourite track on there or do you just love the whole album? I know you're going to love the whole album, but is there a favourite track of yours on there? Um, there's songs that bless me and I'm connected with. So um, I get hard print. So I get I get all my jo- all my projects hard printed. So I just play it in the car. You know, Pavarotti is a nostalgic one. I love Pavarotti. But the songs that... Um, that like I need in my life, like till this point, is the chapter twenty three. Um, it's the cry sometimes. It's the songs that I literally put my soul on. Like yeah, I literally yeah. those kind of. And you know when you talk about versatility, I love Drake. I I, I look at him as a reference point. Like we got the five a.m. Drake, and then we got the club banger Drake, and we got this type of Drake. Like those kind of cr- when you hear the pianos on those rap beats. You know, I'm, I'm about to lay out some of my soul. And I need, I need that in my life because literally I hear myself and he counsels me. That 23-year-old counsels me two years later. You know what I mean? Almost two years later. So, um, yeah, man, um, that's why I, I connect to them. So I've got bangers, man. There's bangers. There's bangers, yeah, there, there's bangers on there. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. The whole thing is bangers. But you know what? You just said one thing about the 23-year-old um, really kind of like, counsels you now and mm. i think that is so important as an artist where you're not just releasing music for the sake of getting it out there to people but your music can actually minister to you oh the- my yeah. thing bro facts bro music's for me first and god yeah. but for me bro like bro i'm out here be, be it bro i'm getting blessed by my library fam if you take this laptop it's heavy bro <laughs> <laughs> I, I need, i'm a fat like bro like I think it was someone that challenged me as well. I think it's um, Giggs that said that one time in an interview. He was just like, bro, when you're in my car, who do you think you're listening to? He was like, bro, I'm not, he's driving around. Like, every, when, aren't my brethren, when my friends are in my car, they want to hear the exclusives. They need to hear, uh, right, show us, because yeah, they're not going to yeah, get yeah. their WhatsApp until it's out. And you got to stream it. So I, I, I thrive off that whole bringing my world I lo- I'm in love with it you know what I mean by the grace of God I'll do it for a long time so um yeah man I have to make it for me I yeah to- I mean I mean I you, I was in the music from young and um, I remember when I wrote my first lyric when I was probably about 15 sure. and I remember like you know over the years I released like you know different tracks and stuff like that but there's times where I sit back and I like especially if I'm going through a difficult time and I'll suddenly remember a track that I released and I'm mm-hmm. sitting there thinking those lyrics were deep mm. and it will minister to me like five, six, seven, ten years later. Do you um, know the, the context of them as well? Like more than just the three minutes. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know what that guy, why he was saying that, how he said it. Like, like sometimes you don't remember, but sometimes you can look at it and be like, no, I remember oh, when those hard hitting lines connect. So it's, it's deeper, man. I lose yeah. a little of my soul every line. My boy was running slow. I had to leave him behind. Like, you see I feel it, it like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know the one, you know what I mean? I know the one. <laughs> but you know what? I, I have to say, no, one, one of your tracks which I've really enjoyed was um, Everything's Changed. And I was so yeah. surprised you didn't include that on the album. Because I think, it, it, I know it came the year before Coyden Baby, I think. Yeah, it was a oh, year, yeah. Oh, yeah, before, yo. Yeah. And it was on, it already had a home in the Still Shining EP. Yeah. So everything changes with um Victory. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and still uh the Still Shining EP that I dropped um literally a year before. So if anyone wants to ever try to try work out like the still shady like um algorithm, I tend to like drop um um projects in in um in, in significant dates apart from each other. Yeah, so yeah. like year anniversaries, so August is a popular day winter because it's my birthday so like literally still shining came out august 2019 um the 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 um the the light in the, the next the uh, cradling baby album came out um august 2020 so um them kind of things so but everything changed that's got a home already man can't bring that through it's a big tune yeah it's a big tune man and you know what i'm going to play that one for them as well guys this is still shady everything changed absolute banger you're going to agree with me check it out Every single day I gotta say a prayer I don't even know what could happen there Used to be that brother with that attitude Used to play things I had to honor my pair I was trying to score a layer Till I realized God has something grill 
Young King had to stop playing games. I saw everything change when I met a scene. I might lean with a bop, but I'm leaning on God. <laughs> Cause I've been on the block till Christ came, so my G on the cross. Yeah, I got my freedom, I'm washed. Yeah, I got my freedom, I'm washed. Yeah. Young King had to stop playing games. Come and see what I'm on. Yeah, it's not a biggie, take a big enough for lunch. We had be back in the day, I had to give a man a hug. He's bare back before I try and set him up. I'm just trying to love my neighbor. What are you talking about, bro? <laughs> so tell him I'll be cool. I don't want to fight, y'all. I got demons or ops. This beef is mine, up. Grinder, I got money on my mind, dog. But I'd be bugging if I didn't put Christ first. Down the hype and the jigger jagger. Call the neighbor, put the law, watch the demon scout. <laughs> I shake a man's hand, bury all the pass up. We all black, my brother. Come on, Wakanda. That's why these young boys dying over little banner. I had to stand up one time for the camera. Came in the scene, man, they see what I'm on. I'm just praying this one gonna be a banger. Yeah. Every single day I gotta say a prayer. I didn't even know what could happen later. Used to be that brother with the attitude. Used to play things that had it on a matter pair. Baller, I was trying to score a layup. Till I realized God had something greater. Young King had to start playing games. Saw everything change when I met the Savior. The Savior. Yeah, I saw everything change. Everything change. change. I saw everything change, everything change, I saw everything change, I saw everything change, everything change, I saw everything change, I saw everything change when I made a sale. Comfy brother, I don't need to throw bricks, might pull up in the ghost, that's the Holy Spirit. No focus, tell my little brother's focus. Too focused by the bread, he don't need no whole bitch, just hold up. Could've made money like Mitch, I played it cool like Ace. I don't play with jokers, no games. I'm just trying to see a soul live. Came for the loss, bringing hope to the whole place. Things change, story could've ended with pain, insane. Could've been a brother in the grave, switch lanes. Now I'm that figure on stage, give praise. How they even know what I'll do without faith? Now I got these honeys on my case, money in my face. Ask God for covering again, every day I pray. Thank God I'm saved by his grace, never was. The same. Now they wanna hate, now they wanna hate Every single day I got said prayer I didn't even know what could happen now Used to be that brother with the attitude Used to play with things that had on one of my pair Ooh, I was trying to score a little Realized God had some ground Young King had to stop playing games Saw everything change when I met the sailor I saw everything change oh, yeah. I saw everything change, everything change Everything change, I saw everything change, everything change, I saw everything change, I saw everything change. I might lean with a book, but I'm leaning on God. <laughs> Cause I've been on the block till Christ came, so my G on the cross. Yeah. I got my freedom, I'm washed. Yeah. I got my freedom, I'm washed. Yeah. Young King had to stop playing games. Come see what I'm on, come see what I'm on. I saw everything change, everything change, change, come see me. I saw everything change, everything change, change, I saw everything change, everything change, change, change. I saw everything change when I made a sale. Every single day, every day I pray. Stop! All right, still before I um, move on, one thing that I want to go over is one of your tracks, um, Excuse Me. And the reason I want to go over that particular track is because, again, I think there's not enough of that kind of music in the kingdom where you're kind of like, you know, you could talk about God and all that kind of stuff, but that one I felt was a very um, challenging for, for young men um, as well as sisters as well um, in terms of the message that you was bringing in it. So when you wrote that particular track, um, what were you thinking behind that? And I'm assuming that there was a lot of personal experience in that particular track. But yeah, tell us, what, what was the reasoning mm. and the, the reason behind it? Excuse me. Like you're connecting with, because um, that's a deeper one. Uh, that's a good question. Um, but I remember that being in the studio and I think Everything Change was my first, like, um, it was my first, like, successful single so to speak 
you know, coming into, I felt, I think I, I knew who I was. Like I had dropped like an eagle and this big buzz came up, uh, came, started to build. And it was like, who's this guy? Clearly Christian, but clearly got something else about him. And then I just took, and I was like, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. And um, I think with everything changed, I like went, link shout out Jay Picasso who produced the beat. And we just literally just, sat in the studio, I was like, yo, I got, I already have this energy, um, but I just really want it to just slap, man. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't really express yeah, it any yeah, other yeah. way. Um, yeah, man. And then, yeah, man, he started with the drum pads and like, I just remember just um, knowing that this is going to be a special one. And I wrote, it started with the, it, it started with the chorus. I like to, if you got, if you got the hook, you're good. Like, yeah. you know, so like, I really wanted to like package this like m- m- statement, this m- this this four line statement of this is hard, this is catchy, this is cool, this is relatable, but yeah, it's yeah. true for me, you know. So I think those are the kind of norms um, um, I kind of wanted to pull in together. So, um, but yeah, I hope that I hope that helped answer the question a bit. No, it, it definitely did, man. Like like I said, for me, it's like I just find that we need a lot more of those kind of tracks out there because i think sometimes i feel like christians are are scared to touch on certain topics or or create certain types of of music um yeah and i and and i'm the kind of person i definitely believe that you know god gave us something where he wants us to be real with the world so that they can understand that there's still opportunity for change and everything else like that but if we're always coming with this kind of like um holier than thou thing i think it makes it hard for us to really penetrate um certain Mm. arenas and listening to Excuse Me and, you know, seeing the videos, hearing the lyrics and stuff like that, I thought, you know, what? this is actually a track that can cross over and do well and reach a lot of other people outside of the kingdom as well. So, yeah, it was a great track, man. So I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you managed to drop that one. So tell us anyway, what is 2021 looking like for Still? Oh, uh, bro, I just got a message of my, I just got a message from my graphic designer and I'm looking at the artwork for my next release. For the heaven remix and i want to show you but it's got the fur the name man i don't know when this is coming out <laughs> but that's what's, coming. that's what's that's what's on the menu um more bangers who are about to come hard with the heaven draw remix as you listen to this now it may already be out or it might not be um but yeah man i'm really just excited to just release more music um and just yeah really just undeniable music man undeniable that's the key word in the camp right now um to really like make the uh, make the non-believer believe you know that there's a deeper thing in this in this corner you know that with that that us as a as a community you know are breeding here so um yeah hungrier than ever more focused than ever um you know yeah i'm working on a lot of things outside of music as well just to keep me you know uh breathing and um feeling um you know really hugging on my ends again really trying to like connect with the community and like feel some of the things that i'm really trying to say you know um so uh yeah that's been an interesting journey for the past month and um yeah man i'm just yeah i'm excited a lot of projects that's a lot yeah I wish I could say details, but I, I, know. I, I know what it's like for artists when they're, when they're working on something, they don't really want to give away too much. They want to kind of like, you know, leave a little something for people to kind of wonder what's what's happening. So it's all good. I won't, I won't get you to dig into it too much. But um, you know what? I see a lot of people, um, obviously, since the start of COVID, doing like virtual gigs and stuff. Can we see it? Expect anything like that from you? I really don't want to, you know, I'll be honest. Um, <laughs> I don't. I really don't want you. I love the live, and I love what live really is. You have to yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I've done like like I did a few at the end. Like I've done live. I like I'm open to being booked for virtual performances. Don't know if I'll host my next headline live, um, but as we see more things are progressing. Yeah, um, yeah. But um, yeah, got any anything can happen. Anything. Well, we, I'm sure we're looking forward to it. And like you know, like I was saying at the very beginning. I know you've you've got your whole KB going on, man. So tell us about KB and production and stuff like that. And give us some details on that, man. 
Uh, yeah, KB's the family, KB's the gang, KB's the hub, KB's the home, uh, KB's the mission, uh, kingdom business, um, where, yeah, me and my producer, shout out Sampa, literally just came and we came to manifest our, 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 our passion for music through Synergy. So, um, yeah, that's where my team is. It's a co-management company. It's a label where we just kind of house um, artists with a similar view. And um, yeah, man, it's kind of, that's kind of where the lid, uh, how, yeah, the Still Shady camp just kind of, the Still Shady movement brand kind of materialised. Um, yeah, we've got some exciting things we want to do. Um, we're a bit covert at the moment um, in this season as we just kind of thrive through um, the, the entities that we're pushing, uh, i.e. myself and, um, you know, shout out Beloved Music, who's got some amazing music on the way. And um, yeah, man, we're just, yeah, and shout out Y Shady and shout out Sampa on the production as well. So um, yeah, man, the family's just going strong and living long. Um, but yeah, exciting stuff, exciting stuff for KB as well. Cool, man. So tell the people, where can they reach you? Um, they want to like find out about your music, see they what you guys are doing. They ain't reached me yet? They ain't reached me yet, yo? <laughs> Crazy, there's, there's, there's some out there that might not, but you know, we want to get they, them on board they, to they, tell they, them. They, they, Gram right now, yo. They need to go, forget the gram. You need to go and Google. You better just Google that still shady name, yo, baby. I'm playing. Um, yeah, but Google is the best way. I've been told. If you just still shady, if you just write still shady on Google, um, all the social medias, YouTube's will come out. Subscribe to my channel, Twitter handles, and every there. I'm everywhere. And um, yeah, man, and that's me. So yeah, I'm there. And say hello. You know, the mailing list is strong. If you're on, shout out everyone that is on my mailing list. Um, I literally am a right. I literally just before this, I just wrote a personal message, just writing in a sack of journals, like a communication ground, not just a prom promotion um, line. It's just a way that I can connect with the Shade family and um, just keep everyone up to date. So, um, yeah, if you want to connect and you want to just be a part of that, yeah, do hit the link in my bio and you'll, there's a landing page there. So, um, yeah, um, that's me, 100 Connect. Cool. And just before we finish, um, I want to talk about a little bit about the track that you um, released with Y Shady, Greatness Only. How did the collaboration for that one come about? And tell us a little bit about that one, because we're going to end the show on that particular it's track. There's one then he said, Luke, I've got a banger. <laughs> <laughs> so if you don't know, yes, Y Shady is my younger brother. He's a king. He has so much potential and so much sick things on the way. Um, yeah, overdue, man. We got so yeah, we got we vibe all the time, you know. That's bloodline, but um, yeah, that was his single. Um, it was a hard song. He wanted me to jump on it. Simple. Um, just when the time's right, you know. I'm I'm on. I'm open to uh, working right now. You know, I'm just trying to dominate. So, um, but it's always been hard to like just just jump on any track and collaborate with just any artist. Um, but he definitely is one that um, I would always jump towards the opportunity to work with. You know, he's incredible, and I love him. So um, yeah, that's um, that's that's how the link up happened. But yeah, more music, more collabs, man. If he, if he, if he behaves himself and stop trying to spin me on tracks. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's his duty. He's your younger brother, so he's always going to try and spin you and like you know, show his brother what he can do, right? <laughs> All right, listen, still, thanks a lot for coming on the, and the radio today and for the interview. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing what you're doing in 2021. Um, guys, definitely go check him out on his social medias, on um, places like Spotify and iTunes. You've got some great tracks on there. Make sure you're downloading and streaming his music and supporting him. Um, Fo, we're going to be in touch, definitely, man. Make sure you send us the, the projects, man. whatever's coming out. Send Always, that over. Always, man, you know you're on the, you're on the list. We appreciate you all the time as well, brother. So just thank you so much for, yeah, man, always just showing love and, you know, just supporting the movement. No problem, man. Guys, like I said, we're going to end the interview on the track he done with his brother, um, Young Shady, Y Shady. Uh, great list only. Bang a track. Absolutely love it, guys. Check it out. Shady, shady. Yeah. 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 Ye
for my brothers like Tony You would've fought me and out our twins Though the love's like sucking Cody Look into my eyes and you'll see no phony Old days trying to fist them, fist them Now I'm praying with wisdom, wisdom Look into my heart and you'll see the kingdom Shooting for the goal ain't missing I remember this girl said she liked me Till she found out I was Nigerian I said I might have not spoke to you anyway But how you gonna base it off one experience? But I still keep it sweet like Harry Bro Cause I've been through the pain like Naruto Just jump in the cart but gotta keep it moving like Mario Different type of sauce when I stepped in uh, Being through the pain is a blessing uh, Running through the streets, they flexing, flexing Got on my side, no stressing Keep it brief from the streets Who's on who? Not on me House of G's, looking clean Holy Spirit, Vaseline And if a girl try to play me like FIFA Go and tell me to deny it like Peter See my bars do smoke, no shisha Vibes can't tell when you catch this fever How you doing like Joey? Thank God I'm holy Used to have a clip with a star like Joey To make the car dash like Kim and Chloe I'm that guy, cause I was out here letting it fly Walk through the valley of death in Giuseppe Stepping in faith while dripping in eyes Don't be surprised, gonna blow in all God's time They said how many chance she need bro Only need one like Akashi's eye <laughs> I'll be honest with you, this is my second take You know man gotta do it proper, the young boys on it Aye. Look Used to bum for the feds, can't catch us, now I'm an acting, could've got a BAFTA yeah. Just came with the phone yeah. to the bank, I can't believe I used to work in Asda In school used to call man blip, but the path that I chose back then was blacker Could've been a good kid like Kendrick, but the man city just stirring his anger <sighs> Whoa, <laughs> mum was in the kitchen singing Hosanna Couple years flew by in a birth flew two, that's 36, 28 grammas Nostalgia, still got a clean grip on a pounded jammer Used to finger with a head with a Yoruba girl But it's your girl, teach man Pat or Wharton Like I can never beg your pardon Used to drive a big boy whip with no insurance But you know that edit and charting Throw some bands, I'm laughing I just went offline, I'm fasting Every line I saw, I'm farming Used to be a dead man to the save you came to trust him Dead man do the most to impress her I'm just like bro, be real respect her Black rich rapper like Skepta But I'm getting love in the Lisbon like I'm professor Shit, you wanna talk, I'll let her So I tell a child, but I don't sing Bella You know I love this game like everybody Water down the Raps in his sarsaparilla I'm feeling harder than ever I can rate that man but I'm better Cred and treasure Let the ox rock man out like my ass and wender skin It's a different kind of engine You mini Cooper I'm in the kid with a limousine Have you ever seen a youth from the mud switch and look this clean? Hey, where you been? I'm hustling Good kid but the man them tucking The young boy Biggie I still suck him Don't put a hand on mine I suck So I did up near the household blood and Still here if you're wondering Mind your mouth when the man them cussing Man you know the shit he's love this game